What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to get shooting badges in NBA 2K22 next gen fast and easy after season 3 with the best shooting badge method. And throughout this video I'm going to give you guys tips to make this method as easy as possible. The best part about this method is that you don't even need a high 3 pointer because shooting in NBA 2K22 next gen is so easy and you can consistently shoot with a 63 pointer. In my first game I got half a badge in 7 minutes which adds up to just over 4 badges per hour which is amazing when it comes to a shooting badge method. If you use this method for about an hour a day, you can max your shooting badges in about a week. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on how many shooting badges you get. Before you guys start playing any games, you guys wanna pause your game, go to options, then go into settings, and make sure your game is on pro difficulty and five minute quarters. Then you wanna back out of settings, go down to controller settings, and turn your shot meter off because you're gonna get a huge boost for this as long as you time your shot correctly, and it'll help you especially if you have a lower three pointer. Next, for the most important part of the method, you guys wanna back out of controller settings, go to my player, then you wanna to go to animation, then you wanna to go to the animation store, Go to scoring moves, you want to scroll down until you get to hop jumpers, and then you want to make sure to buy the Nikola Jokic hop jumper. This is how you're going to get open, and they added this in Season 3, and this move is so overpowered against AIs. You can get an open 3 every possession. But before starting your game, make sure to go back to gameplay animation, scroll down to hop jumper, and you actually want to go ahead and equip the hop jumper. Then you want to back out of the My Player section, go to Progression, go to Takeover, and put on Pull Up Precision Shot Creator Takeover. This is also going to help you with the method. If you don't get Shot Creator Takeover on your build, that's that's okay you can still hit shots consistently without takeover that just helps you and on this build I don't have any takeover perks on right now but if you do have takeover perks I would probably say accelerator is the best because you get takeover way faster but juice and extender are also really good as well for this method so these are the badges I have right now on this build and you actually want to put the badges on in a certain order because that's gonna help you get your shooting badges way faster so the first badge you actually want to put on is circus threes I would just put it to gold not Hall of Fame yet just so you can put other badges on that are gonna help you with this method and the reason we're putting this on before sniper is because you're gonna be taking a ton of step back threes and this badge is going to help you hit them consistently so once you have that gold you want to go ahead and max out sniper which is the best shooting badge in the game then after that you want to put corner specialist to bronze which bronze corner specialist actually helps a lot and all the shots for this method are going to be from the corner because corner threes go in way more than wing threes and top of the key threes once you have that if you have hot zones you want to put hot zone hunter gold obviously i don't have hot zones so i don't have this badge on yet but once i do get hot zones i'm going to put this badge on gold then you want to put mismatch expert to bronze this is a really good badge and it makes a lot of your shots not contested and then the last badge I have on is Deadeye. This badge helps a ton because a lot of shots are going to be open, but for those shots that are about 15% contested, you can green them consistently with this badge. Once you have these badges, I would go ahead and max Circus 3s to Hall of Fame. Then you want to put Mismatch Expert to Hall of Fame. Then I would say after that, put Corner Specialist to Gold. And then if you get more badges, the other badges I would say are good for this method are Green Machine and Lucky 7. Lucky 7, you only need Bronze. Green Machine, I would put it about Bronze or Silver. And if you get a ton of badges to where you max all this out and still have more, I would say put on volume shooter it's not the best badge but you are going to be taking all the shots for your team so it's definitely going to help with the amount of shots you're taking this method is really simple what you want to do is walk to the mid-range area right in front of the corner and make sure your defender isn't on you putting you in any animation if he is putting you in an animation you just want to wait till he's done with that or just walk around until you're not being covered by him and once you're standing right in front of the corner what you want to do is hold your left stick towards the corner tap square to hop to the corner and then you want to hold square to shoot the ball and you will get an open three nine out of ten times and even when it's not open it'll be like 15% contested and with the batch setup I showed you guys earlier you guys should be able to consistently hit 15% contested shots and if you don't have Deadeye yet or if you don't feel comfortable shooting contested shots that are 15% covered or more you can always pass out of shots to get better looks because you don't want to take any bad shots because misses are just going to lower your shooting badge progress. And trust me, some of these shots might not look open to you at first, but as you can see, it looks like the defender is close to my player, but this shot was wide open. And in this clip, I greened a 20% contested shot, and this was before I even had Deadeye on this build. I actually had blinders on because I thought that would be a better badge, but Deadeye is definitely better for this shooting badge method. On the fast break, you can also get the hop animation on a running three-pointer, but you won't necessarily want to do that because you won't always get that animation so it's safer to just shoot a standing three-pointer at that point 